Welcome to Legacy Chiller Systems. My name is Dwayne Ribley. I'm with the Process Engineering Department. This video is about the recirculation tank setup. We're going to show you how this setup will affect your process. We're going to be talking about the pros and cons. And at the end of this video, you're going to have a better understanding of how this setup works. Why do we need a tank in our process? One of the main reasons is for system volume. If you don't have enough piping between your chiller and the piece of equipment you're trying to cool, a tank is a great solution for that. A tank really just acts as a big piece of pipe. Now, the reason why we need system volume is we need to satisfy the chiller evaporator. The chiller evaporator needs to have around 2.5 to 3 gallons of system volume per ton somewhere in the system that can be in a tank, that can be in piping, or that can be in both. For example, if you have a 5 ton chiller, there needs to be around 15 gallons of system volume. A 30 ton chiller, there'll need to be around 90 gallons of system volume. If you don't have enough system volume in your process, you're basically going to short cycle your compressor and you're going to shut down your refrigeration system and the piece of equipment is not going to get cooled. Another reason to have a tank in your process is it can act as a system buffer. What a system buffer is, is basically bringing a tank temperature down over time using a smaller chiller. For example, if you had a 150 gallon tank and it started at 55F, you could bring it down to 45F in about 10 minutes with a 6 ton, 6 plus ton chiller. If you were to take that same 150 gallon tank from 55F to 45F, you could do it in about an hour with a 1 ton chiller. This is a good solution if you don't have a, a 6 ton chiller in your budget but you have a 1 ton. This is also another good solution if you have a low demand of flow rate to your process. Now a research tank setup is where the process water comes back directly to the tank. On a once through chiller, the fluid will come back directly to the chiller evaporator. In the research setup, it creates two separate loops. We do this with a two pump system. The first pump is the recirculation pump. The life of that pump is to circulate the fluid to the chiller evaporator back to the tank. And that will always service that evaporator's two and a half to three gallons per minute of, of uh, fluid. Another thing the research pump does is it always keeps that tank temperature at your desired leaving water temperature. So if you have 55 degree water going out to your process, that tank will be kept at 55. The second pump is the system pump. The life of that pump is to pull that cold water off that tank and bring it out to your process to cool your piece of equipment. Now let's get into the drawing of a research tank. You're going to notice that the tank right here is going to have four connections. It's going to have two in and two out. And your piece of equipment is going to generate heat. And that heat is going to be transferred out of the water and that water is going to be brought back to the tank that's right here. Now, that tank is always going to be kept at 55 degrees. That flu warm fluid will come mix with the, the tank water that's been chilled, and then you're going to have your desired leaving water temperature back out to your process through the system pump. Okay, that's the first loop. The second loop right here is the recirculation loop what will happen is anytime that tank gets above 55 degrees, if it gets around 56, 57, the refrigeration system will turn on. It will pull that water through the recirc uh, pump and it will pull it to the chiller evaporator, which is this piece right here. And the heat will be removed over to, to the refrigerant side. And then you're going to have your desired leaving water temperature back to your tank to mix with that fluid. So you basically have two separate loops acting independently. An important reason to have a recirc setup for your process opposed to a once through is that the recirc setup can act as a safety measure for your refrigeration system. On a once through, you're going to have one loop with one pump, so everything's going to be intertwined with that chiller evaporator. If your process goes down or there's a restriction of flow rate, your refrigeration system potentially could shut down. On a research tank setup, we have two separate loops. The research pump will service that evaporator and keep your desired tank temperature. 
and the system pump will always pull that cold water off the tank back out to your process to cool it. So anything external to the chiller will not affect the chiller refrigeration system. Another good reason to have a research setup is that the chiller can see higher fluid volumes above 85. On a once through, the fluid coming back to the evaporator cannot be above 85. If it is, you're going to put too much heat into the refrigeration system and that heat will not be removed. On a recirc, we have two separate loops. You have the, you know, you have the recirc pump service and then evaporator and you have the system pump. So as long as you turn your chiller on before your process and that tank temperature is brought down to, let's say, 55, that warm fluid coming back to the tank will always mix with that water and the refrigeration system will not be affected because it's not seeing that warm fluid. The pros and cons of a recirc tank setup. One of the pros is that the chiller only cares about the tank temperature. And basically what that means is that if anything outside the chiller goes down or there's a restriction of flow rates, the chiller has no idea in your chiller refrigeration cycle will always keep going. Another pro is that you can always see higher fluid temperatures. A con is that the chiller is going to have lower suction temperatures. Suction temperature is the temperature of your refrigerant. The lower the refrigerant temperature, the less capacity on the chiller. The higher the refrigerant temperature, the more capacity that you'll gain out of your chiller. On a once through, there's going to be around a five temperature difference between the refrigerant temperature and your desired leaving water temperature. On a recirc tank setup, there's going to be around an eight to 10 degree temperature difference between the refrigerant and your desired leaving water temperature. So you're going to have less capacity on your chiller. Another con is you're going to need an extra pump and that will add cost. And another con is there's going to need to be an extra connection and piping for an external tank. So on a once through, there's going to be an in and out. On a recirc, there's going to be two ins and two outs because you're creating two separate loops. My name is Dwayne Ribley. I'm with Legacy Chiller Systems. I'm with the Process Engineering Department. If you have any questions, feel free to call me or email me. Find us on Facebook. Uh, we have a YouTube page with a lot of great content and videos. And ask us about our Oracle Economizer technology that we have a patent on. We're reducing the KWH on any brand chiller, any size, up to 50%. My number is 877-988. 5464 extension 106. I'd be glad to help you with any kind of chiller questions or any kind of chiller design assistance. Thank you.